Hi, Bob Magnuson from Tritone Oboe Reads, and today we're going to talk about the studio oboe read, the recording read. It's very different than a read that you would use in a live performance. Since COVID, many people have been recording. I've been doing this my whole life. I've been a studio musician, recording many, many TV commercials. You've heard me play before. You just didn't know it was me. Uh, so I have my own studio. I do a lot of records, and I record all the time. I have an online recording business. Anyway, we want to talk about microphones for a minute. There's all types of microphones. Microphones can tend to make the oboe sound very bright. How you mic the oboe, is it very close? Is it far away? Most oboe players get confused in a recording situation because it's disorienting. All of a sudden you don't know what's exactly going on. You have to play with headphones. Okay, the one main thing I want to explain before I do a demonstration is the crow of an oboe ring when I'm doing a recording, it's far different than a, a live read. Listen to the smaller crow. There's a little octave in there, but it's mostly the high crow. Now, listen to the sound, and then I'm going to play it back because I'm recording myself at the same time, but we're just going to hear me in the room. gentle read and it plays a good in all registers and it's going right into this microphone a little to the right and that's how you do it and I'll play it back now so you can also hear it in a recorded situation I do make oboe reads specifically for recording. So if that's what you're into and that's what you're doing, please write me and I can uh, share my recording oboe reads. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in all your endeavors.